Opens like that. Yeah, that's way nicer. That's cool. The good Jeep thing on the back. That's freaking sweet. Oh, that's cool. Alright, so here's the Rubicon. You can see it's got the metal bumper package. Rubicon's come with the nicer headlights, fenders higher. These are painted to match too, which is cool. This looks way better than the Sport, obviously. And there you got a JK right next to it, so you can see the JK, the JL. This thing looks really good in person, though. See the windshield differences. <laughs> so here's one of my favorite things when you open the door. It stays right there, and then stays right there. Whereas the JK, it just moves, which was always annoying. Side by side, it's kind of crazy. I know, it's weird seeing them next to each other. So this one's got the bigger screen. Front and rear locking differential because it's a Rubicon. I wonder what all the aftermarket stuff is going to look like. Yeah, they're, uh, see, Dynatrack already got theirs, Evo got theirs, um, Ace Engineering, a bunch of them. They, what they did was they drove to Detroit. Instead mm -hmm. of waiting for it to get delivered, they went and got theirs from Detroit. So on this one's got, you said, the blind spot assist. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Do they have park sensors now? Oh, damn. Them. See, that's what'll be weird. Like, if you want to change the bumper, then you have all that stuff to mess with. The lights and stuff like that. Yeah, because you got the license plate light, light over here. Yeah, that's light. cool. Oh, I see. That's cool. It's cool that the license plate's already because it always looked better, like when it wasn't on the tire. Mm -hmm. I thought. Good, are you? They trying cool. to get it, take it away from us already, man? Okay. Are they trying to come pick it up already? Mm -hmm. The price of people? <laughs> I don't know. It's not. <laughs> Some dude in there. Some guy in a suit. <laughs> well, yeah, he's super cowboyish, actually, <laughs> but everyone else who does his job wears a suit. <laughs> This one's already got the trailer tow package. Cool. Really? <laughs> In case you get lost? <laughs> right. How funny. Oh man. Yeah, a little reflective vest. <laughs> this is different how it's like curved at the end. Yeah, that is. That's cool. But it saves you like the hassle of having to do it yourself mm -hmm. and the time. Time is everything to some folks. Oh yeah. That's cool. And see on these, if you do the sport, and I bet you the Sahara will have these inserts instead of just having... Yeah, I like those headlights so much better. Mm -hmm. The hood too makes a big difference. Yeah, the hood looks sweet. It kind of looks like the JK 10th anniversary one that came out. See, this is what I wish mine had when they... I hate how they released these in like 2017. A couple wish, years after? Yeah, I wish I could have got those. Oh, you can. They're like $800. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Even, even the aftermarket ones are expensive. Damn, that's cool. It's my new Jeep. <laughs> <laughs> you like it way better than the JK, huh? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look at the JK. It looks like a piece of junk next to this thing. I love my JK. Don't start flaming me. <laughs> you versus the girls tells you not to worry about Damn. <laughs> wow. I mean, this thing just looks so nice in person. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that's weird. So this one doesn't have the blind spot? No, I mean it's got the, uh, it's got the cover where, underneath the covers where it'd be, but... Oh, yeah. What they do, you notice the little rings around here? Yeah, yeah. That, 
does a lot for how bright this light looks. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I never thought of that. Still got the rear view camera. That's cool. Still got the Michigan plates. <laughs> I know. The regular ones still do that way too. Right? Yeah, when they do the sports, yeah, I hate that. It's like you leave it all exposed. I know. It'd be cool to see a soft top. I do like how the doors stay. That's awesome. I don't even know how many times my mine flew open. <laughs> well, even the door handles. You know, whenever you now, I believe that the bottom one or the top. One, I think it's the bottom one. Is longer. Oh, okay. On these bolts right here. And you, obviously, you roll your window down. Yeah, yeah. But you've got a handle down here. This is like set up. Well, you could grab on. Oh, it to pull it off. Handle the door. That's cool. The here's another cool thing. So the door hinges right here. Yeah. They're designed so where you can loosen it and just slide it off instead of unscrewing it all, oh, really? all the way off. Damn, that's freaking sweet. So this one's with the smaller screen. We got the auxiliary switches. Obviously no front and rear diffs. Lockers. It's a sport. See on the other one they had that big old LED one. Oh yeah, this one's got like cheap. The regular cheap ones. <laughs> Dude, this looks goofy right here. Yeah. <laughs> How it's connected. That's weird. Yeah, the metal bumpers, that's why it was getting so expensive when I priced it out, because like adding the metal bumpers that that one has, and mm -hmm. all that stuff's an add-on, it gets expensive. See, they'll probably have it standard within the first quarter, a lot of stuff like that. <clears throat> yeah, because when I was building online, I was like, man, this thing's getting up there in price. We didn't even get an invoice on the ones that we have inbound until... Oh, really? Until I hit you up about one. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's yeah. when we first got an invoice price on them. Damn. Just 3.6, 3 right? 6. Yeah. I think they say the second quarter is when the when the turbo four cylinders and be. Yeah. yeah. These new latches are nice though, because on the JK they freaking the hood flutters on the highway. That's pretty much what the best thing about these new latches is. Somebody else was like, "Well, it holds." Up. I've never seen that on any car before. <laughs> Damn, that's different. Here it's already got 1,100 miles. <laughs> yeah, they're. I mean, like I said, it's uh, two Chrysler rips are driving. One's in one, one's in the other. I guess they're relaxing somewhere right now and left them on the showroom for us to... Alright guys, so that was just a short video to show you the difference between the new JL that they got in versus the JK. Uh, they haven't got a two-door in yet. And these, they can't even sell them yet. They're just Chrysler reps that are driving them around to different dealerships um, because they're having to do trainings on the difference of the new JL versus the JK so that they can sell them. I was shocked and really impressed with how good they look in person. I'm kind of regretting not getting one. <laughs> not really. Um, they are really sweet though. I mean, if you have the money to spend and you want to pay that much for a Jeep, it's definitely the best Jeep they've ever made. It is really awesome. The interior is immaculate. The outside is really cool features. The only thing I hate is the Sport looks horrible next to the Rubicon. The Rubicon is really well done and the Sport looks kind of junky, but the inside is actually still nice. Just the outside looks horrible with all the plastics and the cheaper wheels, cheaper lights, cheaper grill, but that's what you get with getting a Sport and not getting a Rubicon or a Sahara. So, Kennedy, thoughts? Kennedy doesn't like Jeeps, but it was sweet though. No, I really, really liked the, the new one. <laughs> that's all I got. We're not buying it though. Yeah, no. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys it. Finally got to see it in person. Hopefully, <laughs> they should be getting them, you said two to three weeks? Yeah, two to three weeks. Two to three weeks, they'll be getting them, then I can actually drive one and feel what the new eight-speed transmission feels like. Um, it's still a Jeep though, like you still feel like you're really close to it because it is a Jeep It's a little bit more cramped than like a truck or my Challenger um, But yeah, they're really nice if you want to pay the price for them So always make sure you comment like subscribe follow me on Instagram and snapchat at van b 39 Oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> We'll see you guys on the next one <laughs>